Scorpio, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. This reading is for anybody with a Scorp Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, divine timing is always at play, and this reading could be vice versa, meaning that this may play from your person's perspective, whoever is on your mind, okay? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's get into it. I am as anxious as you are, and I have been sitting here thinking about all the different cards I want to pull because you know it never seems enough for us Scorpios there's always so much that I want to dig into and it seems like there's never enough hours in a day so let's dig as deep as we can there will be a part two but let's get started OMG Scorpio way to start your reading there's some kind of massive change going on here there is you have a new blessing coming in okay I feel though like someone whether it's you or the person you're dealing with because remember i said this can go vice versa could be very stressed they're doing a lot of thinking okay this person may have been unsure of which direction to go they may have played games mind games with you that's not going to apply to all of you but for some of you this person may have stressed you out okay um there's a decision between two directions or two different people i am seeing a queen of wands and a queen of cups so i feel like Oh, Scorpio, this person may have had a decision between you and a fire sign, quite possibly a Leo Sagittarius Aries. And you're coming up as the Queen of Cups, okay? So they may have not been sure who they wanted to choose. So they played games. They were stressed, actually, about making this decision. But in turn, what they did was they caused you maybe to go into hermit mode, okay? This person wants to apologize for making you feel like you didn't know what was going on. You know, you may have waited for this person. You may have closed this chapter um, because you felt like this person kept you waiting. Interesting, though, what is interesting is that the Wheel of Fortune is here. Okay, so whenever the Wheel of Fortune comes up, for most of you Scorpios, no, for the, those of you that are brand new, though, this means that, you know, there is a massive change that's coming. It is fate. It is destiny, okay? I feel like... You have choices to Scorpio, whether you want to go left or you want to go right. I feel like this person made you feel like you had a blindfold on and you didn't know what the heck was going on. Okay, this person may have just tried to buy time is what I'm getting with the hermit here, the two of swords, the five of swords, um, because they were doing a lot of thinking. They weren't ready to make a decision. So by them playing games or messing around or being unsure, it gave them the extra time that they needed to figure out what they wanted to do. Um, and I do feel like they, they want to say they're sorry. They do want to come in. They, they want to spend time with you. This person does have a lot of love for you, but it's like they had to wait to close a chapter in their life. So if they were already seeing a Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius or Aries, or somebody that was feisty, fiery, sometimes difficult to deal with, but this could also be somebody that's very passion-driven, um, but sometimes that passion can get you in a lot of trouble if you're too feisty and too fiery. It can be that they weren't sure what to do, whoever this person was. Because they're coming up, this Queen of Wands, you know, again, as feisty, fiery. They can be kind of pushy. They can not. They, they can be somebody that doesn't take no for an answer. You're coming up, of course, as Queen of Cups, which is more your water energy. So you're more about the emotion, the love, the supportiveness, the balance, the unconditional love, being highly intuitive, fair, um, and not so zero to 500 kind of thing. Um, this could represent that they were buying time to close out this chapter with this queen of wands and they had a choice to make between you and them. That's the main message I'm getting. Okay, the other message I'm getting is that you were tired of this person being indecisive. So you took the action to close this chapter because they did keep you waiting because they were so indecisive, okay? And now with the Wheel of Fortune here, the fact that they were trying to buy time, messed with your emotions um, because they didn't know what they wanted to do, this is their karma with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. But let's dig in deeper. Let's see what we can find out, okay? I will pull the Tarot Dice in Part 2 as well. We're focusing on February now, but whenever you get these messages is when they're meant for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. 
Okay, again, for anybody with a Scorpio placement, if you know what your other placements are, check out the other readings. You may find more messages there, and it can give you a whole story rather than part of a story. Like, I check my other placements as well, and yeah, you'd be amazed. Okay, so let's get the messages from your person, which I will read closer to the end of the reading. Uh, whichever one you feel called to, Scorpio, is your most important message you are meant to hear. One, okay, sometimes... Four comes out when I intend on taking three, so it's whatever comes out. In part two, I'm going to dig into March. I'm going to sneak peek a month ahead. And then I'm also going to get the next six months with the after tarot. So March, say, to August or so, just to kind of see what the possible outcome is over the next six months. Yeah, as I was saying, four wanted to come out, Scorpio. So one, two, three, four. So those are the messages I'll read near the end, so don't go anywhere. Now we're going to get your overall energy, your person's energy, some tarot charms, the mutual energies between you and them using our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot deck. That's available, by the way, at Shacy.com. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person's energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I also have Leo, Aquarius energy here. All right, I have Virgo energy here, Gemini energy here. But the four fixed signs are the strongest energies I am picking up, Scorpio. So that would be Taurus, Aquarius, um, Leo, and of course you, Scorpio, right? Okay, let's see what's going on. But there's a decision here. There's like a spiritual connection between you and someone else is what I'm getting. The lover's energy is about the universe trying to bring two people together. But there's a choice and decision that must be made, okay? There's definitely a lot of love here between you and someone else. But it's like, you know somebody was putting off making a decision is what i'm getting here you or them i don't feel it's you i feel it's this king of pentacles it's in their energy okay the five of swords is in their energy um, but they're they're you know they're wanting change they're just they're not they haven't been sure this is somebody that kind of went distant kind of went um into hermit mode they didn't really want to talk or see anybody they they needed time to think about things so i feel they like were buying time okay so this is somebody who is possibly focused on material and spiritual prosperity scorpio i feel that's you i feel like you have been focusing on yourself and your um some of you i mean you definitely have spiritual gifts, but maybe some of you have your own channel or uh, you do um, Reiki. Um, some of you are spoke like, con boy, I'm getting tongue twisted. I feel like this person is a little nervous, Scorpio. I'm getting tongue twisted. I feel like it's because they want to say they're sorry and they're a bit nervous. They could be a bit nervous, a bit stressed about doing that, trying to figure out how to do that. They're not sure how to do that. Wow, that just all came flying out. See, that's what happens. Um, I feel like you've been focusing on your spiritual gifts, whatever you decide to do, Scorpio. Uh, you're just kind of standing there kind of going, okay, this is what I need to focus on right now. Because this person doesn't know what they're doing or they haven't decided what they're doing. Yeah. But some of you are, you know, you're, you feel like this is a missed opportunity or they do. It's like, I'm kind of fed up. I'm kind of fed up. Yeah, you just want harmony and peace in your life. You want somebody that brings you that harmony, peace, somebody you can depend on, somebody who's trustworthy, somebody who looks into your eyes and sees only you. Um, you don't want anybody. You're, you're not somebody's second choice, Scorpio, that's for sure. You're trusting your intuition. Good job. Trusting your intuition, focusing on your own spiritual gifts, your material, your materialism, like I don't mean in terms of just things like you're getting organized is what I'm seeing. You're getting organized. You just want peace and harmony. So you've got two sixes here, which is about moving past the chaos. You're trusting your intuition here to guide you past the chaos because you don't want anybody that brings discontentment into your life. You don't want anybody that brings in a bunch of stress and indecision into your life. Because Scorpio, you are very decisive. You always know what you want. And you don't want somebody that isn't going to bring you harmony and peace. You don't want somebody that doesn't know what the heck they're doing. Okay? Yeah. Prosperity begins. So no matter what happens, Scorpio, you have a solid start coming. Whether you're building that on your own which I can see here, or whether this person gets it together. I'm not sure. This person, 
um, may be very kind of bored and unhappy and they brought that discontentment into your life they brought the stress into your life or vice versa maybe you both did um, you may both have you know kind of been unhappy and discontent and uh, things are changing though you you definitely have a new blessing coming in it's your choice on whether or not you want to take it this person's coming in in an apolog apologetic energy a very sweet energy okay they may have cl closed a chapter in their life and made a decision but we're going to dig deeper there is the ace of pentacles here so that's something solid wow scorpio Wow, this person wants to see you and lay a solid foundation or you're meeting somebody brand new. Scorpio, if you've already closed this chapter, then you have new love coming in. But if this is a chapter you close, this person could be returning to you. And they want to set us... Because we've got the Knight of Cups and Firm Foundation, Partnerships and Alliances, Ace of Pentacles harmony so they want to bring peace and harmony into this connection they've taken the time to think about it this person may have been discontent since you and they have not been in contact whoever this is and some of you you've closed this chapter and you're you're going towards your prosperity here you're building your foundation You've been trusting your intuition because you just got fed up with this person and their indecision. Okay, they may have brought a lot of stress and indecision into your world. Let's see. In part two as well, Scorpio, I'm going to do the Tarot of SEX. I can't do it here for those of you that are brand new. We're going to get the intimate messages. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so we're going to dig into that and we're going to see who or what is affecting your energy, your life, your connections. This person is trying to balance their emotions, trying to make balanced and wise decisions. They want to stand up for your connection. But I'm also getting the message, Scorpio, that you have stood your ground. You've been very patient with this person. You've been very fair with this person. Your, your intuition has been totally guiding you, so make sure you listen to it, okay, Scorpio? Let's see what's going on. We have the base chakra, okay? So the base chakra here, <laughs> Scorpio, is your first chakra. Now, this is like, I need to be grounded. I want to be stable, okay? I don't want this indecision, this imbalance is what I'm getting. So it's kind of like, I just want my basic needs met. You know, I'm going to focus on my own stability, my own security here. Okay, again, I feel like you decide and have been deciding to focus on your own foundation, your own stability. Okay, so you're taking charge of your life here. When somebody's imbalanced, indecisive, which I feel is your person's energy with the two of swords about a decision and choice between two directions, two different people. Again, Scorpio, I have the queen of wands and queen of cups. Okay, and the King of Pentacles. So this is like I'm focusing on my stability. I'm taking charge of my life. Okay, and I'm waiting for everything to come together. And I, I feel like you've been really, really patient. And I feel like your person has been imbalanced. Okay, this is somebody who fears an unstable life. They fear the change. They feel this sense of lack. So they become full of anxiety. And they're like in this survival mode. Like, no, I can't let go of this. They have a fear of letting go of what they feel is their foundation. Okay. They fear change. So they, they feared what was going on, this decision that they suddenly had or had for a while. And they decided to go into this hermit mode. And instead of talking to you about it, they decided to just turn a blind eye go quiet and take the time to think about everything. Um, but Scorpio, you know, you are taking charge. I feel here. I feel like, you know, you've been really fair. You, you've stood your ground, um, for what you believe in and you want a firm foundation. You want something solid. You want a strong partnership and you want harmony. You want somebody that knows what they want and you know, who wants a peaceful life. 
Yeah, I feel like this waiting caused you to become bored, fed up. And so you're focusing on yourself and your your foundation and good for you. Okay, let's see what's going on. You're not going to be somebody's second, third choice, Scorpio. If they don't know what they're doing, it's kind of like, okay, well. <laughs> you're not going to be with anybody who isn't sure of you because you, you want somebody, again, Scorpio, that's going to look in your eyes and say, like, you are the one. I have no question about it. If this person has a question mark in their head, you are going to sense it like a hot damn and say, that's it, you know. Um, no. And, and why shouldn't you? And it goes both ways, you know, Scorpio, right? Okay, so for some of you here, Spirit is saying you have the strength to continue to persevere. Okay, you could be, some of you could be dealing with a Leo though. Um, this could be their energy. So again, vice versa, it depends who's watching. Spirit wants you to believe in your strength, in your path, okay? Oh yeah, you're focusing on your stability. There's the money bag there, okay? But you also have a king of pentacles here who is focused on stability long term. So I'm getting that this is definitely somebody that wants long term Scorpio. There's the king of pentacles that came up. Okay, so I, I feel like now not giving this person a pass because I don't give anybody a pass. <laughs> they deserve it. I'm a Scorpio too. Oh, for those of you that are brand new, sorry, <laughs> Scorpio. Um, but... I don't give anybody a pass, neither do any of us Scorpios, because trust is earned, not expected, right? That's right. This King of Pentacles is trying to decide between the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups, who can bring them the most stability, perhaps it can be. Because like I said, the base shocker come up, and this is somebody who has fear of instability. They want somebody who also is going to bring them a firm foundation. So it can be miscommunication, but I do feel like they messed around. But I feel like it's because they were stressed and they didn't know what to do. So their course of action was to come off as indecisive, unsure, go into hermit mode, not give any answers. That's what I'm getting. But spirit is saying, you know, we all have the key to our own happiness. It lies within us, okay? The stability starts with you, your foundation, how you feel about yourself, filling your own cup first, okay? Interesting, I always call this my Herbie, my little love bug, right? The little Volkswagen bug. So this can be that somebody, you know, wants to watch Herbie the love bug with you, could be. I don't know. Or it could mean they're traveling to you or somebody's buying a new car or somebody just bought a Volkswagen bug. Could be. Um, but definitely what I'm seeing is Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. We got the crystal ball here. That's what I want to buy next. I'd love to buy a beautiful crystal ball. That'd be awesome. But anyway. Okay. Maybe somebody really wants to take a bite out of your apple, Scorpio. <laughs> They want to take a bite or they've already bit the apple. It could be they've already bit your apple, Scorpio. I don't know. You tell me in the comment section. This person wants to maybe bring you flowers. We definitely have the most romantic night in the deck, the Knight of Cups. So this person, you know what? This is somebody wanting to bring the relationship to the next level, I feel, and apologize for, you know, being indecisive, not sure what they're doing. But I do feel like this person has love for you. I just feel like they had a fear of instability is what I'm seeing with the base chakra. So that's why spirit's saying be patient, okay? Concentrate on your material and spiritual prosperity, okay? So that you yourself can trust your intuition and, and have your own firm foundation because we should never um, get ourselves to the point where we're unstable because of somebody else foundation wise. Like don't, you know how, I mean, not everybody's mother said this, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. And I'm not talking about, you know, having multiple relationships because that's not what Scorpio does. I'm talking about making sure you have your feet firm on the ground. You can support yourself so that, if any joker comes into your life and, and they fill your head full of crap, Scorpio, you can say, there's the door, and I hope it hits you on the way out. I mean, not quite like that, but you know what I mean. You want to be able to support yourself. You don't want to get in a situation where you're stuck, where you can't get out of it, where somebody treats you poorly and they think it's okay because you're codependent on them. That is not okay um, because what that does is it sets you up for a great deal of heartbreak and stress and it's you know as scorpios we give 500 percent. we only expect 100 percent back and i don't think that's asking for much so if somebody's not putting in scorpio and you're doing all the giving um and i'm not just talking financially i'm talking the emotional support 
uh, all those things. If you're doing and taking the brunt of everything that happens, um, you know, that's not fair. You need an equal give and take. And of course, it's not always going to be equal give and take. Some of us are up, some of us are down, some of us, you know, whoever picks up the slack when the other person's down, as long as you're both doing it, you know, but if there's one of you constantly doing it, um, giving the emotional support, the support, you know, taking all the brunts of everything in life, um, and you're always picking the other person up, that is not an equal partnership. That is not even close. So, you know, there's a balance needed here. So again, patience, timing. This is also a period of healing, trusting our intuition. Uh, we need to, to, to worry less and have less fear about not trusting our divine path here because spirit says, you know, you will always be provided for as long as you have faith in your direction, you will be like things like for me. Okay. Here's a prime example for me. I was in a situation where I was codependent and I didn't like it and it wasn't my choice. I actually couldn't work. I actually was told I could not work. It drove me nuts because us Scorpios are hard worker because we like to do things because we like to um, be very independent. Okay. So I didn't like being codependent. And, um, so I was in that kind of situation and I had a fear of not being able to get myself out of it because I had to start all over big fear, especially when you've got kids, but, um, I did it. I did it. I took the chance because it was either that or stay unhappy in a situation where, um, you sink or you swim kind of thing. I chose to swim, which most of us Scorpios do, right? Uh, but not everybody chooses that. Most people choose the easy way out or what they consider to be the easy way out, but then they're miserable. And then what happens is you're, you're miserable. You're stable, but you're miserable. Okay, that's exciting. So I definitely feel like either, I feel like this person, you know, has been discontent, been bored, um, and knows they have a decision to make, but they need to trust their intuition on where they can have that firm founda foundation. Thus, the King of Pentacles that came up. So this person's trying to figure out where where they can have a firm, solid foundation because that's a great big fear of theirs. And I feel like you have been concentrating on your foundation, your individual foundation is what I'm getting. This person's not really sure what direction they're going in, but they are sure about their love for you. They're just not sure... This person's afraid of, of making the wrong choice is what I'm getting. But let's, I'm, I'm rambling on, but those are my stories. And I wanted to share them with you because knowledge is power, right? It absolutely is. But let's keep going here. Let's get a couple more messages. And I, you know, I wanted to dig in deep to our energy. Uh, I have been busy in personal readings. Those are at shacy.com, by the way. The personal readings are open. Check out the reviews there. I thank you so much for those of you um for those repeat clients of mine that are just so awesome. I love talking to all of you and getting to know you, especially the live readings are so much fun. Okay, material harvest hope. Okay, so wow, look at that. This is like I'm I'm having the hope and faith that I can do well financially stable on my own two feet. So Scorpio, no matter what happens for you, you are going to triumph. You're going to come over all kinds of obstacles. Continue to stand your ground and be patient. Balance yourself out because there is a partnership coming in here for you. But besides all that, besides that, there's something solid, a brand new blessing in love. There is new love coming. There is a solid foundation coming here for you. But Spirit wants you to continue to focus on your own self-prosperity here, your own material harvest so that you continue to have the hope and faith because Scorpio, this way you'll never have to worry about being codependent on everybody, anybody or everybody. This way you will always be able to stand on your own two feet. So if a, a connection doesn't work out, you know, yeah, you'll be upset. Yes, you can kick and scream and you can yell at the neighbors. You can do whatever you want to do. You can have a couple glasses of wine, whatever you need to do. But you will be able to stand on your own two feet and you will get through it because you have the strength of the lion here, okay? And it's also because at the end of the day, Scorpio, I feel like you believe in yourself and, and you you are worth that 100% when you give 500%. So don't doubt that for a second. This is somebody in your life who has gone quiet and they just... Temperance and the hermit, they needed time. They needed time to think. And what Scorpio is thinking is, okay, so, you know, you're just bored, you're unhappy, so I'm your excitement for a while, you know, and uh, Scorpio's not about that. 
again, we're we're very loyal, right? So sometimes, well, sometimes to a fault, Scorpio. So we have to set those boundaries. That could have been what you did with the Seven of Wands. I don't know. Each one of you are going to be different, right? Let's see what's going on. Don't forget to hit the like button. Can't remember if I said that, but it's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. So oh, they're flying out. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, interesting. This person's been trying to figure things out. You're dealing with a Taurus or an Aries or somebody uh, that likes to control things, likes to figure things out, likes to plan, likes to be... This person's extremely meticulous, fussy, and not in a bad way. It's just that they like to have a handle on everything. Okay, so this is a person that can't stand it. Well, they are they like to have everything a certain way. It's just that they're structured. And there's nothing wrong with structure, but sometimes you have to have a little wiggle room. <laughs> just a little wiggle room, right? Okay, so wow, this person has a lot of love for you. But why the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords in this person's energy? Okay. So if you've already closed this chapter, Scorpio, or they feel you've closed this chapter, they're trying to figure out how to kind of creep back in to see you, to offer you their love. We got the Ace of Cups again, now twice, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. This Emperor is going to, instead of being so rigid, so... I want to say set in their ways. It's kind of hard for me to articulate into words what I want to say. Mostly, instead of being so rigid, they're going to show you their softer, sweeter, gentler, apologetic, loving side. <laughs> they have one. Um, for whatever reason, they chose to bury it. They went off on their own, and instead of talking about it, um, communicating this is somebody that controlled how they felt and disappeared and didn't want to say anything but this is somebody that's trying to figure out a way to I feel return back to you is kind of what I'm getting yeah okay so they're trying to figure out manifest coming towards you with this page of pentacles okay yeah, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, okay? They want to begin a connection with you that's solid, okay? So this is somebody that feels like you are the solid choice in their life, that they can have harmony, love, and peace with you. This person definitely loves you. You fill their cup. They feel like, you know, you're very supportive, very loving, What is this person's intentions with Scorpio? They're hoping to balance things out with you, Scorpio. They're hoping that you will let the past games and stress dissipate, that you can leave that behind. You can both leave that behind. For some of you, if you're at a physical distance, they, they want to get closer to you. They want to... They could have been buying time, Scorpio, is kind of what I'm getting. They weren't ready. It was all in the timing. Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, it's all in the timing. Yeah, they want to take... Oh, <laughs> oh boy. They want to take action. <laughs> King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, boy, Scorpio. They're pulling out all the stops to give you. They're very magnetic, very... Uh, sexy side they're very hot passionate side they're loving side they're going to give you all sides except for the ace of swords you need the truth scorpio they want to let the past go but there needs to be communication i feel like they want to show you in a very physical apologetic way maybe a gift um, physical touch they want to apologize in a very physical way, not in a verbal way. This is somebody that's not good at verbalizing things, okay? They like to control what they say. They'd rather show it. Oh, oh well, eight of wands, nine of swords. They want to communicate that, you know, they've been up at night thinking a long time and that they haven't been able to get you out of their thoughts. They may be feeling guilty, but they could have also been somebody that worries about what could go wrong rather than what could go right. Again, worrying about, you know, the foundation. 
And it can be they were worried because for some of you here, they have to relocate towards you. This gave them a lot of fears. Why? Why the fear? It's the foundation. It's the money. It's the travel. Because it was going to cause a tower in their life once they made this decision. See, Scorpio, they feel this very passionate, deep connection with you. A lot of love with you. This is a spiritual connection. That's why it's been so tough. Okay? This is... So it's kind of like the foundation as they knew it in their life was going to come down. But when the tower comes down, that means a foundation was already faulty. It hasn't been concrete for a long time. Could be something to do with family. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Oh my gosh, they're flipping out. Okay. For some of you here, this is going to be a shock to their family. Especially if they're already in a marriage or commitment, that person may have been holding on to them. Clarify the tower. There's going to be some kind of shocking discovery, news, communication. Okay, so this tower is coming down because what's happened is this this decision, this indecision has left everybody stuck. And I, I mean everybody. You, them, their family, distance, timing, um, the quietness. It's kind of like, you know, <laughs> my mother always has said, watch out for the quiet ones. Watch, watch for the quiet ones. Because even though they're really quiet, there's a lot stirring under that, you know, that very much that poker face. Like this is somebody that has felt bound, stuck and tied to another situation, person, place or thing for a long time. And this is going to change everything. So the timing is important. The healing is important. The patience is important. It takes time to pour one cup into the other because somebody has been holding on too tight for the sake of money, the stability that they feel in a family situation. Like again, the fear of being unstable monetary wise. That's not a reason to stay. This person I feel is, they're leaving behind a situation that hasn't worked for a long time except monetary wise. And there's the chariot. And again, there's the cute little Volks, Volks, blah, Volkswagen bug there, Herbie the love bug. And so this, this chariot's coming towards you scorpio to give you some kind of communication okay that there is a tower that is happening in their life or has happened in their life and they want to move on to peace with you they're hoping that you can get on the same page okay wow it's coming here that you're both going to stand your ground <laughs> you're both very strong I'm getting that you're both very strong personalities. You both bring a lot to the table, but this can be a beautiful partnership if you want it to be. It's about getting past the chaos and, and speaking up here. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because this person, you know, is going to stand up and say, well, I had to move slow because I had to stand up against my family for a new beginning because Ace of Pentacles again to have a new start. I feel like their family... Um, it's, it's going to be chaotic for them on their side is what I'm getting. Okay, let's get the mutual energies. But this person loves you. They want to come towards you. They want to bring you their warm romantic side. But they have had a lot of chaos that they are leaving behind. Let's get the mutual energies for us Scorpios. So for those of you that are brand new, upper right hand corner, it'll say part two, watch now at the end of this reading. That's an individual purchase for part two, if you want to dig in deeper with me. Or down in the bottom description area where the little arrow is, you can click on that. At the end of this reading, it'll say part two options. You can choose to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family, become a part of our family here and get unlimited part twos. It doesn't matter to me. It's all options you asked for. They are there, okay? And uh, I will dig deeper. Like I said, the Tarot of SCX. Let's get the intimate messages. The next six months, what the possible outcome is. And we're going to dig deeper here. I'm also going to find out who or what is affecting your connection, the energy of the connection. And uh, I definitely want to dig on that chariot 
pull that out. And the temperance, okay? And the eight of swords, the stuck energy in the tower. We're going to concentrate on those four energies as well. Okay, so yeah, Spirit is saying you both must be self-sufficient and single in order to come together. And so that's going to require you both juggling some things around in your life. You're going to have to balance certain things out in your life. There's going to be massive changes here with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's about, you know, having the hope and faith that you can accomplish this. You will triumph over any challenges here as long as you stand your ground. You and they have to stand your ground, perhaps to family. We've got family here, okay? And this is about being financially independent. So you both must feel like you need to be financially independent first. You're both po possibly fixed signs or have strong fixed traits, okay? And again, you know, continue to have the hope and faith. Keep that hope and faith alive because you can have harmony, okay? But again, you have to w be willing to triumph and have the hope and faith of getting past this. You're both going to have to balance certain things out in your life to come together and be financially stable, okay? Because this person definitely feels like, you know, if, if they have a fear of instability, it, I, I can see that right here. Okay, so you both are taking your power back, Okay, so you both, um, maybe you both lost your power in other situations, okay? You both may have or be a little gun shy uh, when, it become, when it comes to your stability because you've both been through a situation. Yeah, so this has caused you both to be guarded. So you're both guarded, you're both self-protect mode, but you're both taking control of your lives. And if you both are self-sufficient and single and you balance yourselves out first, then you come together, then you will be very strong, very much your own person, and then you will be able to, I feel Scorpio, move on to a happier, calmer place, you know, um, go and have fun and date and, and um, just see where things go. Yeah, you both want to balance this connection out. It's crystal clear to me. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the messages over from the person, what they would like to say to you. And um, sorry, I have something on a timer. Um, letting me know that it's done. I, I have to time myself on certain things so I can get things accomplished. One, two, three, four. Scorpio, let's see the messages of uh, that your person has for you. First message, are you ready? This is a fantastic reading because I really like it because it's, it's like you're both realizing your own self-worth, taking control of your life, single, financially independent, learning from your previous lessons with the world card and ready to move forward. This person's going to be completely different. Again, some of you have closed a chapter and you're moving on and you're meeting somebody or this is a person coming back trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces and make things right because things, the timing was just off is what I'm seeing. Okay, messages. Third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together and I feel like it's mostly finances but I also see a queen of wands here um, that... I feel is very passion driven, very, um, it's somebody that can be very fiery, very feisty, passionate. Like they're not somebody that's, I mean, it's about the passion more than the love. I don't know, Scorpio, you know, I, I'm feeling like they're, they're deciding whether to close a chapter with this queen of wands, but maybe it's somebody like walking on eggshells. The queen of wands is very passion driven, very much a go getter, but at the same time, they can be very argumentative, very hot, very hot tempered, I want to say. Okay, next, next message. Anyways, you're all going to be different. <laughs> Values. So we have too many differences. So maybe this person feels like you have too many differences. You're more of one to take risks and chances. You're more of one to um, give unconditional love. They're the ones that are all about stability, foundation, that comes first before love is kind of what I'm seeing. There's a different love language, okay? Next message. It's not to say that that's a bad thing. It just means that, you know, if you're both self-sufficient, you bring to the table, you can hash those things out and see how it goes. Like, there's no rush. I, that's why temperance is here twice. Spirit is saying, take your time. It takes time to pour one cup into the other. But there definitely is a lot of love here coming into your life, Scorpio. And it's something solid with the Ace of Pentacles. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I've caused. So Scorpio, if this person played games with your heart, they know it. They feel guilty. We have the nine of swords here in their energy um, and the seven of, of um, swords. They're trying to figure out now how to make things right, how to balance things out. Well, you know what they say. 
Better late than never, but never to say you're sorry or never feel guilty means you don't have a conscience and Scorpio wouldn't want anything to do with you if you had no conscience. Let's put it that way. So if somebody actually knows they did wrong or they want to apologize and they want to make things right, I feel like depending how much damage was done, how much pain you caused, Scorpio, vice versa, I feel like it will depend on that. And again, each one of you is going to be different. Okay, but I see triumph here. I see that there's hope and I see that there's faith. Okay, and uh, patience and time in, in working things out and balancing things out. And, and that's also why we have multitasking juggling. It, this is, it takes time to balance things out and mutually between the two of you to make things fair between the two of you. Okay, next message. I always feel connected to you. Yeah, because the lover's energy is here. This is a divine connection. This divine connection is meant to teach you and them something. Scorpio, this may have taught you more patience than you have ever known in your life. For many of you is what I'm seeing. And for this person, this person has to learn to have more faith in their direction. Um, put more faith in their intuition. Okay, and not have so many fears, not allow themselves to overthink, to overanalyze. Uh, this is somebody that has and wants control. Now, this is somebody that's going to show their softer, more gentle side. Again, like I said, it, I feel like f for many of you here, it's it's just that you you were both guarded. You both had things happen in your past to where you feel like you just need to stand on your own two feet first. You don't want to depend on anybody or anything else. And that's good. Fill your own cup first. Oh my gosh, 41 minutes. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to shut up. Let's go into part two. Let's pull the tarot of the fun SEX. Let's pull the next six months. Let's go ahead and clarify the tower, the chariot, this stuck energy here, etc. We're just going to dig Scorpio. Okay, so um, and what and who is affecting your connections. So stay tubed. If you want to meet me over there, upper right hand corner or down below. For those of you seeing me next time, give me a few days. I have some personal readings to do, etc. And I need to do the cancer reading too. So I'm hoping to do that. If not today, then tomorrow. Bye for now, Scorpio.